7-11's our time right now on Carolina in the Morning on Fox Wilmington. Time to talk about what you have been talking about this morning online. Ryan P.C. Trimble joining us in the studio right now to break it down. Talking about uh, the KFC and prom season. I want to hear about this yeah. one now. So this is very funny to me. I mean, okay. It's prom season, you know, all around the country. And if you're looking for a way to make an impression on your date, uh, an unlikely company actually has the answer. KFC, yep, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, launched this advertisement, which shows their newest product, the KFC <laughs> Corsage. Now, this, this isn't a joke. It seems like a joke, but it's real. Uh, the video already has been uh, viewed over 300,000 times. Uh, and if you want to get one for a lucky lady or gentleman, it's 2014 after all. Stop it. You better hurry because they are only making 100 of them and 50 of them have already been ordered. Now you could choose uh, a drumstick uh, from the original recipe or extra crispy or Kentucky grilled chicken. Um, and I think this is hilarious. The company said that if more people are, are interested in it, they will uh, continue funny. their partnership and make more with KFC. Well, let me tell you about a, a dad that has two daughters that have bought numerous prom dresses that are not getting any of that greasy chicken <laughs> on uh, that dress or anything like that. I know. That costs a little bit of money. Oh, you? I bet. Yeah, yeah. You just get the grilled chicken and then it's not as greasy. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. You know, can I have your corsage to eat? Stuff like that. You could save money right. for dinner because then you would just eat the corsage. Or you could put true. it and it, have her put it on her wrist like yeah. we're seeing there. That's true. Exactly. And just be nibbling as we go in case there's not a lot of food at the prom. That's Great. true. Bring Great your idea. own food. <laughs> All right. Lana Del Rey. Now tell yes. me about her. I'm, I, I do not know who this person is. Yes, well, you, that's fine. You might get to know her really soon because her next single just came out. So uh, this is very exciting for me because I am a huge fan of this artist. Uh, Lana Del Rey released a new single um, early yesterday morning. And during the day, it was trending all over Facebook, which I just love because I love her. Uh, you can kind of listen to it a little bit here. Um, Lana first played the song over the weekend um, at Coachella Music Festival. Uh, but she, but officially, she sent it out by premiering it on BBC Radio 1. And it was 5 a.m. our time, but it was in the afternoon over there. Uh, the song is the first single off of her new album, which is called Ultra Violence, and that album is allegedly coming out May 1st. She said that a while ago, and then we haven't heard anything more from her on when exactly it's coming out. Okay, but you familiar with her, Carla? I am not. Okay. But I'm, so I'm this into is music, only for you, sir. So, okay, so I guess <laughs> I'm the only person here who enjoys Lana Del Rey, but she already has two albums out, so if you, you know, if you want to mm -hmm. get to know her a little bit before the next one comes yeah, out. Scott, Scott knows, I guess, right, Scott? In the control room? Control and Scott, Scott in the control, in the uh, studio today? Scott in the studio is like, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah whatever. But. I know Waylon Jennings, stuff like that. I like Waylon. Yeah, yeah like what do you guys Waylon. listen to? Yeah. Country? A lot, a lot of Waylon country. Jennings. I like a here. lot of stuff. But Colin, when you, you know, you walk in the studio in the morning. In the morning, he yeah. He has yeah. always got music playing yeah. in here. And, Music's a good thing. Uh, yeah. Some Billy Joel most of the time. Stuff Billy like Joel. Billy Joel's good. I like yeah. Billy Joel. We go yeah. across the spectrum. We have Billy we Joel. Do. We have, uh, we go to uh, Elton John. What else do we do? A lot of bluegrass. No, the a other, lot of bluegrass. The other day you were yeah. playing something that sounded like something from like a nightmare I had once. It was like <laughs> club music, like from some kind of European club. Oh, yeah. Notes. You play a lot we'll of Holland Holland Notes. We do a lot. By the way, we'll be up at uh, the amphitheater in Raleigh. Hall and Oh, that's right. Hall and Oates. Because I know they both travel, they both That's toured independently. Hall and Oates. Man, get the band back Oates. together. Yeah, I guess so. We do Dwight Yoakam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do a lot. We do of that a lot. If you ever come visit at like 3 a.m., which you should be asleep. If we you're do ever out here at 3 a.m., you can sing along. We do Slightly us. Stupid. We do uh, uh, Dead Mouse. We do a lot of things. We do just whatever Colin's mood is at that moment. We do some uh, old, like, Kingston reggae music. That's always fun. Yeah. That's yeah. always Let interesting. Let me tell you, a lot of the songs. <laughs> Colin knows all the words for it. Every so I'll sing a little and bit. And he will here. sing. Mm -hmm. Big time. Fault yeah. me for having fun. You, you no, guys we are party, love it. We love party it. poopers. It's comforting. Hey, at 3 o'clock in the morning, we need everything we can get. We do. That's true. Yeah. It's one of those things, if, we went, if it went away, we'd miss it. Yeah. You'd miss it. All we'd right. miss it, absolutely. All right. Y'all watch uh, Wheel of Fortune? Yes. This, this was pretty interesting. I do, yeah, yeah. I love this one. So if you're playing any kind of game, you know, you always have to be sure to uh, think twice before you make a move. Well, right. uh, well, a video of one Wheel of Fortune uh, contestant uh. who didn't quite do that has gone, uh, gone viral overnight. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and look at that. Um, Can I solve? Oh, well, that'd be a good <laughs> idea, yeah. Mythological hero Achilles. That, that, right. that, yeah, that is Show Julian Bass song. from Texas A&M. Yeah. Now, he did get all the letters. He guessed the final letters, but uh, he mispronounced them, so he lost a chance at a uh, million dollars. Uh, and then <laughs> that young lady got it right. Now, later on in the game... How did she know what it was? Is my question. Know. So weird. But later on in the game, he, he, he got the puzzle, the world's fastest man. That was the answer. He got that wrong, and only the M and the N were missing from man, and the rest was there. Oh, my goodness. He said, uh, I think he said car or something. Wow. He completely got it wrong. A million dollars just right through his fingers. I mean, I know as someone who has been on a game show before, when you're mm -hmm. out there... It's, Do what? 
Oh, did, I, did you not know that? No. I thought I told, oh, I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You yeah. were not. You I was. Were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, was we're learning It things. was Meredith Vieira, and she is when a was wonderful that? woman. It was, was 2000, 2012. Did you make some cash? I ended up uh, winning $1,000, which is something. You didn't want, so you didn't want to be a millionaire? I, I very much wanted to, but <laughs> the, it was not in my favor. But you know, when you're out there, you just, you kind of just want to play the game as well as you can, and uh, sometimes it gets stressful. Wait, stop. So you were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yes, what, yes, I was. what question did you go out on? I, okay, I will forever, this will be forever ingrained in my head. I'm sure. Um, okay, so the question was, which of the following bands gave us the word mullet? Okay. okay. So the, the options were Run DMC, The Beastie Boys, Metallica, and... Um, a fourth one that is, is gone from my memory. That so, obviously isn't the that answer. That obviously is not the answer. So the options were Run DMC, Metallica, and the Beastie Boys. Now, which of those three do you guys think it was? Oh, I think it would be Metallica, right? That's the obvious answer. Because of all the hair? Sure. Yeah. All right, so all of us would have lost. Okay. This guy lost. Because I thought it was Metallica for the exact reason. Did you because, phone a friend? Uh, that uh, lifeline does not exist anymore. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. I would have, though. Um, I don't know if any of my friends would have known it. So who's but the winner? I mean, the, who, who was the uh, correct answer? The that? answer is actually Beastie Boys. That did not make you the big winner. But $1,000 is still not bad. Yeah, it, it was nice. It was, some, it was at least something. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. I've got to spend the uh, big wheel of, wheel of Fortune before. Have you really? Yeah. I went down to Charleston a few years ago. Oh, when, when they were? When they were taping a series of shows down at the convention center. Steve Powell, a videographer, and I went down and met Pat and Vanna and the uh, producers so cool. of the show. and. We watched them tape two or three shows, and they, they were doing the yeah, break. Yeah. They were taping five shows all together, all yeah. week. Yeah, a week at a time. During, during the break, that they uh, they went to dinner, and the crews were, you know, readjusting the set. They let uh, a lot of us go up there and spin the wheel. That's so cool. Bob and, went yeah. behind and looked at what the letters actually <laughs> said. I tried to hit them up there and pop them off the screen. Just got that all the answers. Hard, by the way, that uh, it took some strength. To the spin wheel that is wheel it kind of heavy? Yeah, it was very heavy. Huh. Very heavy, but anyhow, that was a lot of fun to do that. All right, man, some good stuff this morning. Thank you. It's exciting. I thought, the so. area. I thought it was interesting. <laughs> All right. Got some interesting weather to deal with. Definitely. Yeah, we do. Unfortunately, a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity out there. We'll take a look at the hour-by-hour uh, -hour forecast, rainfall forecast model. We'll see those uh, conditions continue to deteriorate and moisten throughout the day today. I would expect to see somewhere in the neighborhood of an inch of precipitation or better. Here's what it looks like on the hour-by-hour -hour forecast as we fast forward into your afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies. Shower and thunderstorm activity abundant through eastern North Carolina. High temperatures into the mid 70s. Overnight low temperatures back into the 60s, 50s, 40s and 30s as we bomb out with temperatures falling quickly uh, overnight with those lows back into 38 degrees for your Wednesday, 37 degrees for Thursday.